Well, speaking of, time for Ask Ellen, and tomorrow wants to know, are the drafts and wind currents created by the Canada wildfires playing a role in creating our drought conditions? This is such an interesting question, Michelle, and I have to give it to Blake Harms. He actually yes. brought this up the other day, so it was so cool that we had an Ask Ellen in relation to it. The short answer is yes, so let's dive in. Right now, Canadian wildfires, 425 are active. So far this year, 16 million acres have burned. That's a ton. We have wildfires out west. That's where we saw early season smoke. But right now, we continue to get wildfire activity from the east because we have that backwards weather pattern. So we are starting to see wildfire continuing to pour into our area. And some research suggests that that wildfire smoke is impacting our rainfall chances. Here's the thing, clouds need tiny particles in order to form. And those tiny particles can be sand or salt or smoke or dust. These become something called cloud condensation nuclei. Well, wildfires launch that right into the sky. In fact, particles from smoke tend to be really, really tiny, only 2.5 micrometers, which is a perfect size for cloud condensation nuclei. Wildfire smoke can travel thousands of miles downwind, and it can sit at any level of the atmosphere, so it can affect any cloud bank from the surface all the way to the top. So here's how it boils down. If we have more wildfire smoke moving in, it actually doesn't give us more rain or more cloud cover. Instead, it kind of breaks apart the moisture. More particles from the smoke means more, and therefore smaller cloud drops. Cloud drops are so tiny in the sky that they struggle to consolidate and get big enough to fall. So when you have wildfire smoke in the area, it just makes for a cloudier day, but you see less rain actually make it to the ground. All right, yeah, good question. Ellen, thank you.